This video was made to experiment the proof of concept of Astra GUI console. The footage in this video is recorded during the module testing phase of Astra UGV technology. To see the complete working model of Astra UGV technology, keep updated with this channel or visit www.pineapplem3.com. Hi, welcome back to Pineapplem3 forum. In this video, we will be reviewing about Astra UGV GUI console software. So this software is designed to remotely control and operate the UGV actions and decisions whenever it requires a manual assistance. So in our previous videos, we have already mentioned about this software. Uh, now we need to connect the Astra modem to any COM port of computer using serial cable. Now let's check the device manager to check the modem COM port address. Here it is. Okay, so now let's open the software. As we just opened the software, um, all the console control is locked until we establish a secure connection with the modem. Uh, secure connection can be established in the following ways. So the step one is to select the device name or the type of modem that we are using. Uh, we have many variants of modems available here. So since we are using the NRF transceivers, we need to select Astra NRF modem, your first option. So step two is to select the COM port address in which the modem is attached. We can use device manager to check the COM port address. We already checked it once. Uh, so we are selecting the available COM port address. Step three is to select the baud rate of the modem. So th this depends upon the type of microcontrollers that we use. So in this experiment, we are using that mega microcontrollers with a baud rate of 9600. So we have to choose 9600. And step four is to click connect device and that's it so we establish a fastest and secure connection simple and fast right so this uh, this software comes up with a password updates in its beta version so we can set up passwords when it comes to deployment later so as you can see since we establish a secure connection with the modem our console controls are all unlocked so the fact is these fall buttons act as a real hardware switches to operate the UGV remotely from a command center. Okay, so now let's check out each control switching panels we got here. On the top left, uh, we have the master control panel uh, in which each switches act as a direct control over the mother module. So here master is related to mother module. Uh, okay, so next to the master control, we have a SOM control panel. Uh, is SOM is related to child module okay so this single SOM control panel is a control over the entire child node which is connected to the mother module so this entire signal goes via mother module as a fact that mother controls the child okay in the in we have some uh, updates available soon to choose which SOM uh, should the signal goes in and goes out so it will be available in the beta version um, on the top right, we have a GPR radar panel. Uh, here we constantly monitor the GPR signal to detect the landmines. So this GPR readings, as you can see now, uh, is now receiving from the mother modules as an output from the test program that is currently running on the mother module setups now. And moving on to the bottom right, we can see a test radar sample readings uh, generated from the mother module testing program. Uh, so this radar is actually used to locate the child location and make decisions according to its AI algorithms. So moving on to the bottom left, we can see a status panel. Uh, this is like a command line interface uh, to monitor the inside working and current activities that is flowing through the channel. Okay, so this status uh, will be saved as a log files uh, for the future purposes trainings. So, um, as an overview, uh, overview, this is an entire core structure inside an Astra GUI console. Um, as a fact, uh, software seems pretty simple and user friendly, but it's too powerful than you thought of. Okay, so let's check the working of the software. Um, at first, we can check any any one of these master controls. Uh, let's send the command by clicking this button. Yes, it worked. Uh, while clicking on the button, you can see uh, the console code is transmitted into mother module as an encrypted cipher code via Astra model. Also, you can see uh, the data is constantly transmitted by mother module to command module. Okay, so 
these buttons are for controlling the robotics arm in the mother module so as you know that robotics arms are used to lift and diffuse the landmines so that's its purpose now let's check any one of these form controls here let's send this command to see how it works yes uh, the command worked okay so the software is genuine which means that uh, the cipher code is broadcasted into all child nodes which is connected to a mother module okay so you can also see the status bar below here so which shows the live low activities in the channel so what what is happening in this channel is all printed over here so um, this is the overview of the software um, so this experiment shows that the software is more genuine and more fast and simple user friendly and powerful so uh, if we are done we can disconnect this model now okay so that's all about this videos in the upcoming videos we will be discussing the programming parts so thanks for watching